the red pill or the blue pill, the West must choose. Something far more devastating than an earthquake is about to hit the world in 2025. It won't be felt through trembling ground or collapsing buildings, but its shockwaves will tear through industries, economies and governments with a force never seen before. It is not a war, not a financial crash, not even a pandemic. It is a technology so disruptive, so mind-boggling, that it will either be the most dangerous thing ever unleashed or the greatest gift to humanity in the last 100 years. This is the moment Africa has been waiting for, a moment to shake the foundations of global power, a moment to land the uppercut that sends the world's economic titans crashing to the ground. And at the center of it all is a man. A high school dropout from Africa, something remarkable emerged. A glimmer of hope, a beacon of innovation. His name? Maxwell Chikumbutso. Not a name you'd find in your average science textbook. No fancy degrees, no billion dollar research labs. This was a man of the people. A man with a vision. He, he dared to dream of a world free from the shackles of fossil fuels, free from energy dependence, free from the grip of outdated technologies. His invention? A mystery shrouded in intrigue. Some whispered about harnessing the power of radio waves. Others spoke of converting invisible energies that surround us. The details were sketchy, but the implications were clear. This technology, if true, had the potential to change everything. Imagine a world where energy was abundant and accessible to all. This was Chikumbutso's promise. And the world watched, holding its breath. Could this be real? Could this small African nation be the birthplace of the next global revolution? Only time would tell. For decades, we've been told that energy is finite that we're constantly depleting our resources. Oil wells running dry, coal mines reaching their limits. The message was clear. Energy scarcity is the defining challenge of our time. But what if that wasn't true? What if we've been looking at energy all wrong? Chicken Butso's invention, if validated, would shatter the paradigm of scarcity. Imagine a world where energy wasn't a commodity to be fought over. A world where every home, every business, every village had access to a limitless power source. This wasn't about solar panels or wind turbines. This was about tapping into a source of energy so vast, so readily available, that it defied conventional understanding. The implications were staggering. The global energy industry worth trillions of dollars would be turned on its head. Oil-rich nations used to wielding their energy dominance on the world stage would find their power diminished. The geopolitical map, redrawn countless times over access to resources, would become irrelevant. This wasn't just about technology. This was about hope. Hope for a future where energy poverty was eradicated, where developing nations long held back by lack of resources could finally unleash their potential. Chikumbutso's invention, if true, was a beacon of light for a world hungry for change. The end of energy as we know it. For centuries, energy has been the currency of power. Nations fought wars over oil, economies collapsed over fuel shortages, and governments dictated global policies based on who controlled the energy supply. Fossil fuels, coal, nuclear, and now lithium, every source of energy, has had one thing in common. It required constant extraction, refinement and distribution. It required control. But what happens when a man from Africa invents a machine that produces endless energy without fuel? No coal, no oil, no solar panels, no wind turbines, just unlimited power, freely generated, wirelessly transmitted. It sounds like science fiction, it sounds too good to be true, and yet, it is here. Maxwell Chikumbutso's technology is not just an invention, it is a reckoning. A force so disruptive that it will turn 300 years of scientific understanding on its head. Physics, as we know it, is about to be rewritten. The red pill or the blue pill, the West must choose. If you've watched The Matrix, you know the choice. Take the blue pill and stay in the illusion, pretending the old world order still works. The world keeps burning fossil fuels, mining lithium and fighting for scraps of a decaying energy empire. But take the red pill and everything changes. The red pill is Maxwell Chikumbutso's invention. It's free energy breaking the chains of fuel dependency forever. But it comes with a catch. The West will no longer control it. The new gatekeepers of this technology are not oil tycoons in Texas or energy giants in Europe. They are in Africa, the greatest power shift in human history. For the first time, the West is not in control of a technological revolution. From the steam engine to the internet, every major innovation that shaped the world was Western-born, Western-controlled and Western-exploited. Not this time. This time, Africa is the architect. Africa is the decision maker. And Africa will dictate the terms. The implications are seismic. The fossil fuel industry, finished. Oil, coal and gas will become worthless relics overnight. The lithium battery empire, dead on arrival. No need for expensive, environmentally devastating batteries when energy flows freely. 
Power grids obsolete. Cities, towns and even the most remote villages will have limitless wireless power without a single cable. Economic power shifted. The world's richest nations must now negotiate with Africa for licenses and access to the future of energy. A firestorm that will burn the old world order. This is not just a technological breakthrough. It is a firestorm that will consume entire industries. The Western world has spent centuries building an empire around energy dependency, pipelines, power plants, grid monopolies. This invention renders them useless. Those who fail to adapt will be left behind to rust like abandoned metal. The West has two choices. One, accept the red pill, embrace the future, license the technology from Africa, and enter a new era of limitless energy. Two, cling to the blue pill, deny, sabotage, and fight against the inevitable, while the rest of the world moves forward. The Industrial Revolution of the 21st Century What we are witnessing is not just an invention. It is the most aggressive economic and industrial shift humanity has ever seen. It is the fourth industrial revolution, but this time it does not belong to the West. Africa, long dismissed as a bystander in global innovation, now holds the keys to the greatest energy revolution in history. And the world must decide. Will it embrace this new reality, or will it try to fight the inevitable? The red pill has been served. The West must now choose. The world watched with a mix of scepticism and cautious optimism. News outlets ran headlines about the Zimbabwean inventor claiming to have cracked the code of free energy. Social media was abuzz with discussions, debates and conspiracy theories. Governments and corporations sent their representatives to investigate. The impact of Chikumbutso's invention, if legitimate, would be felt across every facet of human life. Industries that relied on fossil fuels would need to adapt or become obsolete. Transportation, manufacturing, agriculture, everything we knew would be transformed. The global economy built on the backs of oil and gas would undergo a seismic shift. The balance of power carefully maintained for centuries would be upended. No longer would certain regions hold a monopoly on energy resources. The global south, rich in natural resources but often exploited for them, would finally have the means to control its own destiny. This was the promise, the potential, that had the world both excited and terrified. The old guard, clinging to power, would undoubtedly resist this change. But the tide was turning, the future was knocking at the door, and it was powered by a force unlike anything the world had ever seen. Section 4. The Legacy of Energy and Power For centuries, energy has been the invisible hand shaping human history. From the first campfires to the Industrial Revolution, access to energy has dictated the rise and fall of civilizations. Coal powered the British Empire, oil fueled the American century. Control over energy resources has been the source of countless conflicts, fueling wars and enriching a select few while leaving billions in poverty. The story of energy is often a story of exploitation. Colonial powers seized control of resource-rich lands, extracting wealth and leaving behind a legacy of environmental degradation and social unrest. The Global North grew wealthy, while the Global South was left to bear the brunt of climate change and resource depletion. Chikumbutso's invention threatened to disrupt this deeply entrenched power dynamic. Imagine a world where African nations, once plundered for their diamonds, gold and oil, were now the energy powerhouses of the world. Imagine a future where the Global South, with its abundance of sunshine and wind, could power itself and the rest of the planet. This was the true revolution. A shift in power, not through military might or economic dominance, but through the power of innovation and shared prosperity. This was the legacy that Chikumbutso, consciously or not, was poised to leave behind. Section 5. The Red Pill Embrace the future or cling to the past. The world stood at a crossroads. On one path lay the familiar but unsustainable reliance on fossil fuels with all its attendant consequences, climate change, conflict and inequality. On the other path lay the unknown, the promise of a future powered by limitless energy, but with it, the uncertainty of a world turned upside down. Chikumbutso's invention, if proven true, presented a choice, a red pill moment for humanity. Would we cling to the old ways, defending the status quo with all its inherent injustices? Or would we embrace the future, even if it meant challenging deeply held assumptions and upending the existing power structures? The answer, as with all things in life, was never simple. There would be resistance, doubt and attempts to discredit and suppress this new technology. Vested interests would fight tooth and nail to maintain their grip on power. But the seeds of change had been sown. The genie was out of the bottle. The world was watching, waiting, holding its breath. The future, it seemed, was up for grabs. 
And at the center of it all stood Maxwell Chikumbuzo, the unlikely hero from Zimbabwe who dared to dream of a world powered by the impossible.